Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, let me share my screen. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to make your web applications uh, prettier. For starters, we will be using a news uh, template. Uh, let me show you how the list page of a news template looks. And you can tell that it looks very different from a regular uh, page that Pishperana and Esperana.net are doing. And uh, view in browser, where is it? Right here. OK. Let's see how you can do something like this in uh, in your project. OK, uh, first of all, uh, the most interesting thing, in my opinion, is uh, how to make the very first element, uh, the very first record, uh, appear bigger on the screen, taking more space, so in drawing attention of uh, your website visitor. So this page is a vertical grid page uh, with uh, four elements per row and the rest of CSS. So when you do something like this, you're using CSS, yeah. uh, you have two options to uh, change the layout. You can either use CSS grid or you can use uh, flex, flex box. Both are pretty good technologies, and uh, I don't really have a preference which one is. Uh, I believe that CSS Grid is slightly easier to use. And uh, if you remember, we had a tutorial dedicated to CSS Grid uh, in one of our first webinars. It's based on uh, this article. And we were talking about how to make, uh, how to use uh, CSS Grid using our forums as an example in the mobile mode where you need to be precise and you don't want to use the default layout. So the idea is, is that you define the grid and tell which element or which uh, group of elements will occupy which uh, each space. So Flex is slightly different, but idea is the same. So let's dig in into it and see how you can also uh, use it. OK. If I right click on this element and choose inspect, we can see the properties. So this is our div that encloses uh, our first element. So we can see here is that the height of this element is uh, 400. 30 pixels and flex property says that it should occupy 50% width of the screen. So for the rest of elements, so default, uh, and you can see it, it's uh, written over, meaning uh, that those settings were overridden, but it applies for the rest of elements. So the default height of element in the grid we also do it in CSS, it's uh, 215 pixels and the full width is 25%. This is how we do uh, four elements in a row by uh, specifying the width uh, to be 25%. And default height is 215. For this specific element, and you can see that we are using first child property. So it only applies to the first element right here we override those values and specify and double the height and double the width so it takes uh, two rows and two cells uh, vertically two columns and two rows uh, uh, just doing this would have not been enough because we also need uh, to tell our browser how to position the rest of elements so if uh, you take a look at this element, for instance, this is element number four. Let me show you. I have a screenshot with the grid. Let me show it to you. This is our uh, 
flex grid container we're talking about uh, first five elements you can see numbers so this one is the first element and when we uh, need to specify properties specific for this element we can use first element uh, uh, property uh, this element number two three four and five so that's that's how how it works that's how those elements are numbered so in what we do in our code we element number four right here uh that's our div i believe yep right here and let me see maybe yeah yep this is it uh so we're saying that it should uh, this element display should start uh, from uh, 50 percent of the screen so it does not overlap our first element and also margin top is uh, minus 215 pixels so this is how we position it to appear in this specific part of the screen uh, let's take a look at the last element inspect and also go up to the div and it says uh, something slightly different margin left is auto and margin top is also minus 215. Uh, when you open a project like this and you don't really know how something works you can play with uh, css properties and see what exactly changes when you change some css properties so let's see what we can do here with this uh, first element and to better understand what is happening when we change something or we clear one of css properties okay that's our first element i believe yeah it's a parent of the first element and it says flex 50 percent okay what if we change it to 30 percent uh you see what happens uh it's now occupying only 30 percent uh, horizontally which makes sense these two elements are going to stick to its uh, right edge which also makes sense and these two elements as i just shown uh they are going because they're still uh, using that 50 percent and this one is uh, will start after 50 percent horizontally and this one uh, number five will also be tied to the uh, right part of the screen i mean of the grid of the parent element so this is what happens when we change if we change it to 40 percent etc so this is what is happening this is how you know like this is the correct thing to do and if you want to do something about uh, changing the height okay let's change it to something like this so now we have elements uh, from below pushing up but and this is also something that we don't want to be having so we do have this okay we can also try something else we can increase the height of this element and see what happens the image still uh just uh, 430 pixels but this white space is uh, our div that pushes down elements below it so you do need to when you build a grid like this you do need to decide uh, what would be the height of each element in our case it was 215 pixels and you need to build it uh, your grid or your flex box based on that and the same horizontally uh, it's not enough to tell that first element will take half of the screen horizontally and 430 pixels vertically you also need to position the rest of elements properly otherwise if you do not apply any custom CSS to elements number four and five, they will be displayed over the top uh, or underneath of this first element on the left. So what we need to do, we need to push them down 
vertically and we need to make sure that this one appears right after the first cell finishes and this one is uh, needs to stick to the right side.